Painter and printmaker Loisa Damiar is considered to be the most noticeable representative of Slovenian surrealism. He is driven by a great creative imagination and his artistic expression is bursting with symbols. He has received several awards and his works have been included in public as well as private collections in Slovenia and abroad. The world of Loisa Adamlier, an academy-trained artist and printmaker, is virtually a dream world in which everything is relative and almost everything is allowed. Through his work he reveals the human self and erases the boundaries between nature and culture. He made his entry into the world of surrealism four decades ago. That's one reason why some call him Slovenia Stali. He allows those who observe his paintings to come up with their own stories. The conversation between the creator and the viewer is therefore established on several levels. The observer slowly discovers the author's story, analyzes the effects left by the visual storytelling, travels across the canvas and stops at the breaks of color while contemplating the meaning of the artist's message through his or her own experience. His art has matured by undergoing a creative dialogue with the tradition of European and Slovenian surrealism. On display in Loise's studio are numerous surrealist paintings, along with an unusual bird with black polished shoes and a watch hanging from his long beak. This is the Caribus, the artist's representation of human mortality and human affectation. Bluffing and affectation in visible spaces are the characteristics of humans. Animals are much more honest. That's why my Caribus has a more narrative role in this respect. Even though I think he's beautiful and likable. We have been together for many years. We are an inseparable couple. More than a decade ago, he followed the advice of friends and sent one of his paintings to a surrealist exhibition in Kassel, Germany. He selected a painting entitled Perpetuum Mobile and unexpectedly won an award. He is open, honest, without masks and without fear of what others may think of him. Painting in the classic oil technique is a long process. And the painting that is depicted so mysteriously, as some in my technique, needs more time. I always have 10 or 15 paintings in my studio waiting for the paintbrush to finish their stories. Adamlier's art is based on the premises of classical painting. He uses the techniques of classical oil painting and egg tempera. Fantastic motifs with plenty of symbolism and metaphors can also be found in his printmaking production. Printmaking has accompanied my painting and, while parallel with painting, it emerges from another space, from a different basic technique. But the narrative style remains my surrealism. I'm a printmaker who works exclusively with metal mattresses, dry points in other words, and mostly traditional and relief etching. Whether he's making prints or classical paintings, Loise Adamlier has never wanted to create something readily apparent and simple. Instead, he has always been spontaneously carried off into a world of dreams, in which he began to create dream stories, and he remains devoted to these stories to this very day. <laughs> 